Okay, great. Welcome once again to the Young Investors Digest, your weekly uh, edition coming away Sunday, 7 p.m. from the Young Investors Network. As usual, your suspect of a host is here, Maxwell Dankwa, and I'll be taking you through today's conversation. Today's conversation is going to be rather interesting. Uh, we will be having an interaction with some young guys who are doing big things. And when I say big things, I'm sure a lot comes to mind. So what I mean is the Junior Investors League, right? You've heard of this league, which has been uh, rolled out in the tertiary level, sorry, in the secondary level. And we have some boys from Presec Ligon who are partaking on the call to share their experience and their investment strategies for this league. I'm sure they aim to go home with gold. So we'll try and find out how they are faring and what their key tactics will be and what their general experience has been so far. Okay. My name is Maxwell and that's what is going to happen for today's show. So on the call, let's just jump right into it. On the call, we have Presec Boys. I personally didn't go to Presec, but it's a school I have held in admiration for a while, uh, for much of my life really, because they are you know, heavyweights in intellectual affairs and this competition is no different. So I expect Presec to come out on top because they have the men. All right, so on the call, right, we have um, Clayman Innocent. I'll just jump right to call them one by one. So Clayman Innocent, and we have Bismarck Norte, we have Ejari Enoch, Aida, I believe Isaac, I believe there's John, there's Jonathan. And we're supposed to be joined by uh, a tutor who is shepherding the whole affair by the name of Mr. Etonam Kwame Dedume. Uh, he's having one or two challenges, but hopefully in the course of the session, that will be resolved. Okay, so so I'll be calling, let, let me just call Clayman, right? Clayman, um, Clayman, can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, Clayman, so this young league, you are part of it. And you, and you, you have... Yeah. Yeah, Clayman, can you hear me? All right, Bismarck, can you hear me? Bismarck. Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah, so Clayman, uh, how did you get into it? What has been your experience so far with the Junior Investors League? Then we talk about your strategy. Tell us more. Okay, so what I found interesting about the Junior Investors League is that it's a good program that helps us, let me say, with the business students or any other intellectual person who has a vision of being entrepreneur or engaging in the business in future and this has helped me to have a fair view of how how i'll, I'll be how, able I'll to buy shares, buy shares or and also share shares. that's it okay so yeah i can tell that there's a lot that you stand to gain from it but how did you get into it if you could tell us more Yeah, so I understand. Okay. So when you guys propose, brought a proposal that we should join the Young Investors Network, I was selected to be part. So we all discussed the various brokerage firms that we have and the ones that we should invest in. Oh, I see. I see. I see, great. So by way of strategy, right? By way of strategy, how do, you get, how do you and perhaps your team intend to win this? Okay, so far we believe that the investments that we've made are very effective. And with that, the interest that we're gonna gain from our investments, Will be much higher than the other schools, but taking in this program. 
Mm. So, so with, with, with respect to um, investment strategies, right? Usually, how would you categorize yourself? Uh, I know you're a business student, so this isn't so foreign a topic for you. So you partaking in something like this is a very practical application of what you study, I believe. So if you could tell us, what is your investment strategy? You are picking stocks and you are looking for the ones that will gain you the highest return. But I would like to know, and I believe any listener of this show would like to know, what is informing your choices? Is it an analysis, a fundamental one? Uh, are you looking at the news? Are you looking at the stock historical performance? What, what really is informing your decisions to go for this stock to add to your portfolio or that stock to add to your portfolio? And what's your thought when you are going about this? Okay, I may say we did an we analyzed on it, then we included the historical performance, the price per share of all the brokerage firms, and looking at the inflation rate, we considered all those factors and that helped us in investing in the brokerage firms that we have invested our money into. Okay, all right. Uh, so let me talk to Mr. Etonam Kwame Dedume. Uh, he's on the line now, and he is one of those shepherding, if not the only one shepherding the Persec Boys team for this Junior Investors League. Mr. Etonam, please can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, welcome. Uh, 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 yeah, uh, thank you. Good evening to you all. Um, we've had a chance to interact with one of your guys, and apparently he seems he seems to be very confident in his strategy. So you are the one, can you tell us what has been the or what has been the attitude first of all towards the whole junior investors league, and how are the students going about it? Tell us that first. Yeah, I'll say the attitude is very positive. The, the students are very enthusiastic about. The competition and they are very eager to win uh, the competition at the end of the day. Okay, okay. So, yeah, as part of our questions, uh, you know, the students, are, as I, I indicated to the user earlier on, they are on vacation now. So, uh, in order to put them together, we managed to have their contacts. So, we created a platform for them so that they can interact, even uh, whilst at school, so that they will be able to continue with the competition till they come back to school. Okay, fantastic. fantastic. And how has it been so far coordinating a group of young people about an activity like this, which is not your typical activity, but almost like an industry level activity, which will introduce real world concepts to people in the classroom? I know preserve boys are, are very disciplined. So I would say it's not, too, uh, it wasn't too much uh, of a problem to do them together and then trying to uh, work with them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But for you as a tutor, tell us or tell me your thoughts on the Junior Investors League, especially when it comes to the value addition for students in who take yeah I, I think it's a, a a very nice uh, program that uh, you are we are exposing the, the students to at this particular moment because uh, students get to learn about uh, stocks and how uh, reading is done on the stock market and then uh, yeah so basically, I think it, it, it's a very good opportunity for them to learn new things about how trading activity is actually carried out on the stock market. So I think uh, it, it's a good thing and it should be encouraged because um, those days when we were, we were schooling, we didn't have this opportunity. So I told them it's a, a great opportunity for them to learn. Because when this thing started, uh, we were trying to look at uh, the, the various uh, price of shares, even as at the time we were going to buy, 
and uh, do some analysis. In fact, it has exposed some of us also to uh, whatever is going on on the stock market, and then some of the decisions that or things that you have to consider before even buying a share from the company. So I think it's a good thing and it should be encouraged. Okay, so uh, for the students under which the, uh, you are shepherding, for the students that are under your uh, tutelage, for students that are under your tutelage, can you tell us how the experience has been and maybe give us certain instances or some interactions they are having about stocks, some of the conversations, how it's going? Because clearly, I'm sure you have experience in terms of. Um, knowledge and in terms of um, accumulation of understanding, yes, a, a difference in terms of understanding from when it started to up to this point. Perhaps the, when they are doing the analysis, you see you see visible improvements, you understand. Can you tell us or cite certain instances that can at least give us a picture of how they are going about it? Oh, actually, we, uh, we put them together not too long, and then the school went on recess. So I would say with uh, that uh, uh, level of interaction, it hasn't been so much. So we intended that going forward, after this meeting, we will have uh, much more interaction than uh, we had earlier on. But uh, before... Uh, we went on the, the break. Uh, I brought them together and I asked them a few questions about how, uh, what they know about the stock market and then the trading uh, on the floor of market, uh, the stock market. And uh, their response was uh, quite uh, good. Especially, we have a few of them who actually read and uh, have uh, good knowledge about the market. So I think that is what is going to drive uh, the competition. Okay, so um, I think that's fantastic. And um, since you are still basically setting up shop with respect to the team and all that, things will take shape eventually. But since yeah. you, and you find yourself in a very unique position as the one taking charge or running point on this whole um, in Junior Investors League in Presec. So since things are really about to kick off or things are about heating up, can you tell us what your strategy is for inspiring them to continue? Yeah, the, the strategy is to for, for them to reach wider and then analyze the market when listening to news especially business news, you know about the uh, performance of uh, uh, the shares of companies. That will inform us as to what to do with the current ones that we have bought, whether to sell in the future or, or to maintain. Okay. Basically, that is... Yeah. Okay. So, so basically your, your prime area of focus will be maybe markets uh, impacting news or news or right yeah all right i think that's fine um so so now let's 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 broaden the conversation beyond the presec team i want i want you to give me an overview right as you see give me an overview of how the landscape is looking with respect to industry and academia this program is attempting to bridge it. We all know that industry is often a bit different, very practical for people who the finance on a broad level. Do you think that more needs to be done for to bridge? between what's happening in the industry, especially for the conversation of business students? Uh, yeah, uh, I think uh, more the, on the market. 
and what we are teaching in the classroom, we see that there's no uh, direct relationship with, the, with the, what we are teaching and what the market is offering. So I, we need more engagement. We need to engage the students. Relates with Ghana Education Service, so that uh, as part of uh, the business program, perhaps we can introduce uh, some of these things in the into the syllabus at a very early stage from the secondary school level, so that at least by the time students complete SHS, uh, they have enough information on the uh, investment and then the yeah, investment before they even go to the university. Okay. So, so we need we, we need we need to do more and even reach out to other schools who uh, happen not to be on uh, this program so that at least they'll be able to uh, also benefit. Great. Some of these so, things. To one of your students on the call who we could engage with, who is very much um, in tune with. Uh, you need any points to one place that we engage the, 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 the lie wasn't too clear, so I, I did. I think you have a lot of your students on the but yeah. I'm sure I don't have to. You have a suggestion. Uh, like, if you look at the students on the call, right? Yeah, a lot of yeah. your students students but since i'm yeah. not very them can you call out one we can ask or two yeah. <laughs> brother boy are you there yes, what, what, what the, what the, uh, uh, your leader yes who's the leader is it yes i'm here Yes. When a boy had a boy, you are the leader, is that not it? Yes. Uh -huh. yes thank you. Uh, glad to, to interact with you. So I've mm -hmm. heard from your your sir, Mr. Dedume, about what you will be can you hear me? Yes. Yes, me. Can you meet yourself, please? Bernard. Okay. So uh, on a point, you the strategy, pick stop, use and all. And when you are picking up, right, put you on the spot. Yes, I couldn't get the question. I'm, I'm not done with the question. I'm seeing. Hello, Van Jonathan. Yeah, hello, Zay. Yeah, I am saying we've. So I'm not hearing you clearly. Can you hear me? Yes. I'm saying that we've interacted with you and he says that he is for you guys to listen to news and pick stocks and performances, right? Yeah. Okay. So can you walk us through a typical stock you have been following, right? And okay. what would decisions about whether you should add it to your portfolio or not? Okay, so um we're following GCB's stock. Okay. Are you looking out so, for and the, the, so we're looking out for their performance. We we noticed that at the beginning of the year. Their stock was valued, each stock was valued at 5 CD, 24 pesos. But as of now, it is 4 CD, 5 pesos. So we are hoping mm -hmm. that by, the, by, by maybe within the end or as time progresses, the value of the stock will increase on its performance as well. Great. So typically, right? typically uh, anyone that are advising as an investment advisor, right? Yeah. Anyone you ask you, you said you mm -hmm. are waiting, right? Yes. 
stock price goes up, what believe that not down? So what would you say? Yeah, so that's how um, capital investment is. For okay. capital investment, as you invest, you have to be very, very patient and be sure of what you're investing in. It's not like the money markets where invest, when you invest, you get the returns within a short period. But for markets, for the market um, structure, it's for a longer term. Okay. okay. So as you invest, you are investing for a longer term, hoping that you will gain more returns from your investment. And so you are not too sure of. So, so, so Jonathan, as a who is trying to put money in the capital markets, buying mm-hmm. stock, um, I want to convince, let's just see, convince me why GCB is your stock preference, why you think GCB will go up. Uh, GCB will go up because. Um, yeah, clearly we this will go up because clearly we know their performance has gone down by the values of their shares has gone down by I don't know, maybe more than one C. So eventually the company is not just going to be there, it's going to make more investments and try to try to accumulate mm-hmm. more funds and increase the value of each share. So it will be very wise to go for it when it is low so that. When there's an increase in price and you sell your share on the market, you would gain profit. Nice, nice, nice. I, I, I like that response. I like that response. So uh, which other company beyond the Ghana Commercial are you looking at? Um, okay, so we're also looking at... Um, we're looking at MTN as well. MTN Ghana? Yes. Okay. Um, and how has MTN's Ghana's how how has MTN Ghana's performance been so far? Well, at the beginning of the year, the value of their stock was around one CD eleven pesos. Mm-hmm. But as of now, it is ninety one pesos. That's a reduction. Yes. So they would be since in in what we know that in I guess there'll be more trading. There have been more um, activities within their firm concerning their stock. So there'll be a likelihood that there'll be an increase in its share if not right now, but maybe in the latter future. Mm. I like the with which you speak. I, I feel you have potential to be a, a good investment manager. So okay. I'd also like to know, what resources in terms of news are you following? Because your teacher mentioned that you'll be following the news to see what's happening in the markets and whatnot. What are your resources? What are your sources? What are you following on? Well, me, usually I go on the net and read about how the performance is going, how it is faring also. Okay, so and, which source? And, and also, um, if I don't understand something clearly, usually I go to people who have more knowledge about it. Like my father okay. to point to me and tell me one or two things. All right. So I'm sure you have a deep appreciation of how bad news makes stock price go down and good news makes it go up. I'm sure you know that. Uh, not that much about it. So. Okay. But I'm sure by the end of even how you are trending in terms of your direction, I believe yeah. the whole will be will really be strategically positioned for. Um, more, more understanding of what the markets will be. Okay. Yeah. Right. So, um, Jonathan, can you point to someone else I could talk to briefly? Yeah. So, Ephraim. Ephraim, is Ephraim on the line? Lost Ephraim. How about okay? Who else aside Ephraim? Uh, Aida. 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 Someone. Are you there somewhere? Are you there? Are you there? You're muted, but we can't see anything. Are you hiding from us? Yeah. Yeah, are you there? Uh-huh. Yes. I'm told that a very big heavyweight in the protect team. I'm supposed to talk to you. Is it true? 
Okay, you can. <laughs> okay. So uh, Jonathan has outlined some of the strategies for analyzing a stock. He's mentioned MT and Ghana and GCB as the stocks you guys will be going with uh, others. Um, and he also mentioned that the decisions that are being taken, he bounces them off people who know more than him or he goes to news sites or sources for all those things. How about you? How, what, how are you going about contributing to the team? Um, I analyzed it, saw the, um, the price. We are to, um, the money we are, we are to invest in this and for MTN, it was 0.9, um, 91. And we saw it to be a good place to invest in because it will generate more if you are to invest in GCB to same, for the world to same, and the others, they're also doing well. So that's what we checked. Their historical performances too are also good. And inflation is not affecting them that much. Um, so we okay. saw it to be good avenue. For okay. And what, how, when it comes to this, how are you when, balancing? Can you hear me? Come on. Yeah, you said when it comes to comes to your experience so far. I know you you both just begun this uh, junior investors league, but tell me, how do you intend to balance it with your academics? Um, it's it's also part. It's like you joining a club in a school. It's also part. You all take all these things, and we are not just going to school to just go and learn the book, book, book. All these things are also part with the experience and everything will uh, uh, all help us in life. So we are even happy to be in this. I hope I hope eventually you become uh, an investment professional. Oh also, yeah, I think yeah, I think that's a bit Kim. So I'm very happy to be part of this team. Great, fantastic. So um, I think we've heard from you. that was coming. Yeah. I can't hear you. Yeah. Go on. Mr. Edson. Hello, Mr. Edson. Hello. It looks like. Thank you. Hello. Yeah, so it looks like your team is ready. We will be checking with yeah. you guys somewhere in find out what the progress is with respect to your portfolio. We hope that you get... again. Then you will check on us when check on you again to find out. Okay. Uh, the, the, don't, the, the, don't worry, don't worry. Uh, okay, you, yeah, I will, I will get the information later. Don't worry. Yeah. So uh, that basically brings an end to today's show. Thank you so much for all those who joined in. And just to paraphrase what that was discussed, it was we interacted with some a teacher and some students from in the junior. We spoke about their strategies and how they intend to home the practice. And this looks like they would have a lot more to share. So that basically brings an end to this week's edition of Young Investor Digest. Um, my name is Max Wadankwa. I'm your usual host. And we thank you for the time you spent with us. As usual, it's every Sunday, 7 p.m. So until next time, take care and goodbye, everybody.